a ribbon of water. The Panama Canal stands as a testament to human ambition. For over a century, this waterway has connected the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, reshaping global trade. Ships from around the world traverse its locks, carrying goods that power economies. The canal changed the way the world moves, reshaping international commerce and naval strategy. Early explorers dreamed of a passage through Central America. The journey around Cape Horn was long and perilous, adding thousands of miles to voyages. A canal would save time, money, and lives. The economic and strategic implications were enormous. The dream persisted through generations, waiting for technology and determination to catch up. The canal story is one of immense struggle, innovation, and sacrifice. Thousands of lives were lost during its construction, nations vied for control, workers battled dense jungles, torrential rains, and deadly diseases. Yet, the vision endured. Today, in 2025, the Panama Canal remains crucial. It has adapted to the changing demands of global shipping, expanded to accommodate larger vessels. Its smooth operation is a daily miracle of coordination and engineering. The canal is a symbol of connection, bringing nations closer. Its waters reflect the history of the 20th century and the ongoing currents of the 21st. The Panama Canal is more than concrete and steel, it is a living monument to human achievement. The first serious attempt to build the canal came from France. Ferdinand de Lesseps, the hero of Suez, believed he could repeat his triumph in Panama. In 1881, the Compagnie Universelle du Canal Interoceanique de Panama began its work. De Lesseps envisioned a sea-level canal, underestimating the Panamanian landscape, climate, and diseases. The terrain was vastly different from Egypt's deserts. Panama presented a formidable mountain range, the Continental Divide. Landslides were frequent and deadly, the Chagres River often flooded work sites. Disease was the most insidious enemy, yellow fever and malaria were rampant, thousands of workers succumbed, the true cause mosquitoes was not yet understood. The project became known as a death trap. By 1889 the French effort had collapsed, the Compagnie Universelle went bankrupt, over 20,000 lives were lost, millions of francs were spent with little to show, the French dream of a Panamanian canal lay in ruins, yet their efforts were not entirely in vain, providing valuable lessons for those who followed. The United States watched the French failure with keen interest. President Theodore Roosevelt saw the canal as essential to American expansion and naval power. In 1903, after supporting Panama's independence, the U.S. acquired the rights to build the canal. The Americans were determined to succeed where the French had failed. One of the first challenges was disease. Dr. William C. Gorgas understood the link between mosquitoes and yellow fever and malaria. The Americans launched a massive public health campaign. Within two years, yellow fever was virtually eradicated. With disease under control, the focus shifted to construction. Chief Engineer John Stevens and later Colonel George Washington Gothels oversaw the monumental task. They opted for a lock-based system involving damming the Chagres River to create Gatun Lake. Giant locks would lift ships up to the lake level and then lower them back down. Finally, on August 15, 1914, the SS Ancon made the first official transit. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans were united. America had achieved what many thought impossible. The opening of the Panama Canal in 1914 revolutionized global maritime trade. It dramatically shortened shipping routes, saving time, fuel, and money. Goods could be transported more quickly and efficiently between the Atlantic and Pacific coasts of the Americas. It also opened up new trade routes between Europe and Asia. The economic impact was immediate and profound. For the United States, the canal was of immense strategic importance. It allowed the U.S. Navy to move its fleet rapidly between the two oceans. During World War I and World War II, the canal proved its military value. Control of the canal zone gave the United States a significant geopolitical advantage. The canal became a cornerstone of American foreign policy. It fostered increased international trade by making it cheaper and faster to move goods across the globe. The canal spurred the growth of port cities on both sides of the isthmus. Over the decades, the types and volume of cargo transiting the canal have evolved. Today, container ships dominate carrying manufactured goods from Asia to the U.S. East Coast. The canal authorities have continually worked to improve efficiency and capacity. The economic benefits for Panama itself have also grown, especially after it gained full control of the waterway. For much of the 20th century, the Panama Canal Zone was effectively U.S. territory. This arrangement, established by the Hay Bunau Varilla Treaty of 1903, became a source of increasing tension. 
Panamanians resented the foreign presence and control over a vital part of their country. Nationalist sentiments grew stronger over the decades. There were protests and riots, most notably in 1964. The desire for Panamanian sovereignty led to lengthy negotiations with the United States. General Omar Torrijos Herrera made regaining control of the canal a central goal. A breakthrough came with the signing of the Torrijos Carter Treaties on September 7, 1977. These treaties laid out a plan for the gradual transfer of the canal to Panamanian control. On December 31, 1999, the Panama Canal was officially handed over to the Republic of Panama. For Panamanians it was a day of immense national pride and celebration. The Panama Canal Authority assumed responsibility for the administration, operation, and maintenance of the canal. The transition was smooth, and Panama has since managed the canal efficiently and professionally. Panama's stewardship of this vital waterway is a significant responsibility on the world stage. The canal remains a symbol of national pride and global importance. Despite its enduring success, the Panama Canal faces significant modern challenges. One of the most pressing is the impact of climate change. The canal relies on a vast freshwater system, primarily Gatton Lake, to operate its locks. Changes in rainfall patterns, including more frequent and severe droughts, can reduce the lake's water levels. This can lead to draft restrictions for ships and limit the number of daily transits. The Panama Canal Authority has invested in water-saving measures and is exploring new water sources. Environmental concerns extend beyond water supply. Protecting the surrounding rainforest watershed is crucial for maintaining water quality and quantity. The ACP has implemented reforestation programs and watershed management initiatives. Competition from other trade routes and modes of transport also presents a challenge. The Suez Canal offers an alternative route for some Asia-Europe trade. The development of Arctic shipping routes could eventually divert some traffic. The Panama Canal must continually innovate and maintain its cost-effectiveness to remain the preferred choice for shippers. The increasing size of modern cargo ships has also tested the canal's limits. The canal must constantly adapt to the evolving demands of the global shipping industry. Looking ahead, the Panama Canal is poised to continue its vital role in global commerce. The successful expansion project, which opened in 2016, was a game-changer. It added a third lane of traffic and new, larger locks, effectively doubling the canal's capacity. This allows the transit of much larger Neo-Panamax vessels. The expansion has ensured the canal remains a key player in international trade for decades to come. Further enhancements and potential future expansions are always under consideration. The Panama Canal Authority continually studies global shipping trends and the evolving needs of its customers. This includes exploring ways to optimize water usage further. There is also ongoing discussion about the possibility of a fourth set of locks. The canal's strategic importance also endures. While its military role may be less prominent than in the past, its economic influence remains a powerful geopolitical factor. A stable and efficiently operating Panama Canal contributes to global economic stability. Its continued neutrality and accessibility to all nations are crucial for maintaining smooth international relations and trade partnerships. In conclusion, the Panama Canal, born from incredible vision and sacrifice, has navigated over a century of change. Its waters will continue to shape the future of global commerce for generations.